Asian in mind, but for someone to do some work. Also, I found out I don't have to go into the office more. I can work from home. Yay! First. One of the things I need to do this week is to um, start normalizing my levels because I'm a 75 monk, a 72 gunbreaker, 73 astrologian, astrologian, whatever, and 72 red mage. I need to get these all to, to be about 76. Because I'm expecting today a monk, I'm going to get up to 76. But we also need to do uh, a couple quests here. I talked about the roll quests here. We got the, the tank one over here. We got the physical DPS over here. We got the healer over here. We got the... Uh... I'm on red mage right now. Red mage. Uh, so uh, let's talk magic DPS. This is all very intros to this. The thing is, I need to complete these quest lines in order to complete the, the actual in-game Shadowbringers thing. For, for reasons. I could tell you what they were, but I would... Spoiler. I should turn the volume down, shouldn't I? But, um, yeah, so I kind of need to do these. I'm going to try to actually go, okay, it's two and a half hours. I'm going to stop, restart, and uh, grab some taco soup, which I realized that I thought I put on for, <laughs> I thought I put on, uh, on low for eight hours, but I actually had it on high, so I only did it for four hours. It stayed warm. I'll do it later, though. But let's start the roll quests. I, I think we only got one, uh, maybe two for one of them, but we have the one. Let's talk to Seerig, Seerig the here. Let me guess, you're standing in front of Seerig, bounty hunter non perel because you, Imperial, because you are, you have a mind to aid me to fight the dread Phronesis. Do I have the right of it, or do I have the right? Do I have the right of it, or do I have the right of it? Uh, Fawn, what's it? I just heard you were looking for a mage. I didn't know, but I could have sworn you had suggested you are unfamiliar with Phronesis. But that uh, that couldn't be. No sinner with his salt souls could be so ignorant. Allow me to elaborate. Phronesis isn't just your run of the mill stray sin eater, he is one of the nastiest the realm has seen. Formed from the remains of one of those god's damn warrior of light. Right, there were four of them, all told, crawled, crawled up from the bowels of the deepest hell before being being buried for nigh on a century. The tales are true, people will come to call them the carnal virtues. Before he was transformed into a sin eater, Phrenosis was none other than the archmage Age Nalbert, whose baleful magics were feared the realm over. Though it, it's only been a short, few short years since he first showed up in Armor Brang, he already preyed on far too many innocents with his foul sorcery. Not king and on seeing their trade routes disrupted, the local merchants have placed a healthy bounty on his head. Of course, it's not like uh, nothing more than, like, it's not like nothing more than a. F than to fell the fiend single-handedly and claim the entire bounty for myself. Unfortunately, circumstances have dictated that I recruit a companion. That's where you come in. Provided that you will prove to me that you possess the, mat the rather uh, specialized set of skills that I require. I propose I'll make, make it worth it. Not a bad offer, wouldn't you say? If you fancy yourself up to the attack, come find me in Amarang. I mean to set off for there shortly.
So he's just at the uh, uh, thing for the transport. So I could just go to the. Uh, The Amar Lodge. Morrow. Amaro. Amaro. Do remember which guy they need to talk to you? Oh, for Amarang, are you? Um, I can ready an Amaro that knows its way around the desert cuts. Going to Amarang. Here's Sirik. So you came. It's good to see someone who isn't uh, isn't all talk. And it's fortunate to have it. And another Sinita, a far less imposing specimen than Ferocious, of course, has been sighted just to the west of here. Prove to me that you have the skill to back up your words, and we'll talk further. Anything on my chocobo tank? Good show, friend. I wasn't sure that you, what to expect from you, but seeing you in battle has left me with little doubt. Seems I've found myself a formidable ally. And so I extend the offer in earnest. Help me hunt down Phonesis, and we'll split the bounty down the middle. Well, what do you say? That's a spirit. Uh, I think I must have nodded. Now there's more, more you should know before you proceed. Come with me to Mordzuk my base of operations, and I'll fill you in on the details. Hmm. I suppose I could have teleported, but music of this, the background music here is just so soothing. How we got into town and it changed. Welcome to Mordsuk, friend. As you can see, it's a bustling trading post frequented by merchants from across the realm. At least it was before Phronesis Phronesis showed up and started preying on unwitting travelers. His head's about to use. The lucrative reward was, has attracted the attention of one capable bounty hunter after the next, yet the fiend still roams free. We can you can possibly imagine why. Those few who have seen Phronesis has returned to tell and returned to tell the tale speak of great the great horrors they wit witness, cavernous black holes materializing out of thin air, swallowing everything around them into the abyss. People people have taken to calling him the hollow calling them the hollows. Rumor ha has it that one barely had time to lay eyes on Phronesis. Phronesis before he summons the fourth the hollows, which pr proceed to consume everything in sight. And I do mean everything. Just the other day, an entire caravan was devoured by the by the hollows, leaving only nothingness behind. 
Mages have postulated that these holes are literally tears in the fabric of reality, gateways to other worlds, to put it another way. At any rate, suffice it to say, the next man to come back from the void will be the first. Yet there's something odd about it. Witness say Phronesis doesn't seem to go out of his way to prey on people or settlements. He simply shambles across the ways, summoning hollows one after the next, and the destruction follows as a matter of course. Needless to say, drawing too near of the fiend is tantamount to suicide. Even attacks from afar have been been all but futile as Phronesis simply summons the hollows to consume every incoming arrow. With every conceivable means of attack foiled, even the most savvy bounty hunter have all but thrown up their hands, even though the bounty now stands at some nine or ten fold the original mount. I am of a different mind, however. The way I see it, see it if only there was a way to neutralize the hollows, we'd more than stand a ch we'd more than stand a chance against Phoenicis himself, which is why I require your services. Your easy triumph with the Sin Eater spoke clear. You're a mage of no common skill. If anyone has the arcane knowledge and aptitude to help me figure out a way to defend against the Hollows, it's you. Well, normally I like to punch things, but I do like a little magic. I could probably figure it out. No, don't worry. Ah, I got this. Don't worry, I fully intend to shoulder your, your my share of the burden, and so I plan to gather all the information we need before asking you to put yourself in harm's way. And with that, I best get to work. Once I've formulated a proper plan of attack, we'll talk again. Until then, I suggest you continue to hone your casting skills. Battle that awaits us will not be an easy one. I can't remember if... It, oh, yeah, it's level 72. That's the second quest. Okay, what do you know? Ah, there you are. I mean, your timing couldn't be better. As luck would have it, I, little bird told me that Phronesis was sighted in the vicinity not long ago. Don't you worry, I have no intention of rushing in like a fool. My plan is to shadow the Sin Eater from afar, that we might observe the hollows with our own eyes and formulate a suitable plan of attack. To that end, I procured this mannequin here with the merchant, from a merchant acquaintance of mine at the Crystarium. Crystarium. By setting it on Phronesis' trail, I mean to gauge just how wide of a berth we might we must keep from the fiend so as not to be sucked up into the void. Shed no tears for the little fellow friend. His sacrifice will be the key to our success. And yet, as you can see, he is not quite in the best state of repair. And pray, let me a hand in procuring what we need to get him back on his feet. You're a lifesaver, friend. I probably nodded there. I can't see it because I don't have. I'm not zoomed in enough. Probably do this now. I've said, friend, I just spotted nasty-looking Sandkin Sibylli uh, looking about, about to the east of here, and I do believe that some one of their tendons should serve well to put the, some spring back in this little fellow's step. Stag one for me, and I'll see to the repairs. By the way, while off off camera, I did uh, get flying in Lakeland and Ilmeg. Why didn't I get it here? Because there's this entire side of the map I can't get to. Later. Same for Kalusha. Kalusha, I have the same problem. I've only been to four zones, so... I 
I wonder if I stood in that and just looked away, if they would have actually hurt me. Yeah. By the way, the voice is just kind of a, a deeper voice and not much of a, a strain on what I'm saying. Any hey, luck finding that tendon? For my part, I've acquired something that should serve as makeshift gear. <laughs> Cost me an arm and a leg, but hey, if it helps us claim that bounty in the end, it's more than worth it. Tendon. Perfect. Yes, I reckon this is a durable elastic enough to replace the mannequin's snap drive belt. I'll fetch my toolbox and get started straight away. In the meantime, why don't you scout out a suitable lookout point for Phronesis? Uh, I do not know how to pronounce that. Phronesis? Uh, was last sighted just southeast of town. Try to find a spot on higher ground out of sight from the main thoroughfare. Not supposed to be like high minded, just serious. Straightforward. Just a normal dude. That knows his stuff. It's look good. Hello oh, there, friend. As you see, our clockwork friend is back in tip-top shape. As it appears, we found found us the perfect lookout spot, why don't we get down to work? I'll kindle a fire, we might be here for a while. Well, I'll be. There's the bastard. Look closely and hold your gaze. You must witness the sheer horror with your own two eyes. You know, it looks like a thaumaturge or black mage of some sort. No, we mustn't send out the mannequin too soon. When Nissa sees it, he, he may well blast to bits before there's a chance to investigate the hollows. There he goes. I'll send the mannequin in to trail him. Let's sit back and enjoy the show. Hmm. Just as I expected. Gone without a trace. Shed no tears for our little friend, though his sacrifice sacrifice we now through his sacrifice we now know 
Just how much distance we must keep from the hollows to avoid being sucked into the void. Now it's our turn. Let's edge a bit closer and see if we can observe. Mind you, take care not to wander too close, lest we fancy a vacation in a dark, shadowy abyss. It's as if the shadows, the shadowy whirlwind rages inside, ready to suck anything and everything into the void. I've seen many a horrific sight in my day, but this sends a shiver up my spine. Let me out. It's so dark in here. Hmm. Why the pale face, then? You look as if you've seen a ghost. Uh, I heard a voice coming from there. A voice, you say, from inside the hollow. But that's impossible. Is anyone out there? Is anyone out there? Please help me. Help me get out of here. Uh, over here? Is that a voice? Is someone out there? Can you hear me, please? You must help me. I can't see anything. No road, no trees, not even an ether current to follow. Which way do I go? How do I get out of this place? This voice, when the god's name is the same. A voice of a boy, you say? Claims he's not lost he's lost inside with no ether current to follow. Sounds like he's adrift in the flow. Not unlike what would happen if an aetherite of which one was teleporting was destroyed in mid-journey. Wait a minute. What if there was some way we could channel your ether into the void? Might that, might that not allow your ether for, etheric form to serve as a beacon of some sorts to guide the child back to us? Of course, not that I know how you do about, go about that. Yeah, trust me, I got this. Hmm. You reckon you can do that? Just, just that? I won't even think about asking how. Do your damnedest. Wicked white. I knew you were no ordinary sinner, but even even still you find ways to surprise me. Where am I? Well, I'll be damned. There was a child inside. A little expedition has left us with more questions than answers, eh? But for now, this boy needs our care. Let us carry him back to Mordzuk and find him a warm bed and some nourishment. Boy is resting now. He is weak but not wounded, at least as far as I can tell. Needless to say, his presence raises questions. Were there others trapped on the other side of the hollows? If so, might they also be returned to our world alive? There is much we must ask him when he wakes. And another subject, uh, this might be an odd question, but have you ever looked after a child before? Uh, what do you think? Huh. That makes two of us. Bounty hunters like me don't get much opportunity for babysitting. Still, until we can track down the boy's parents, I suppose I will have little choice but to look after him myself. I suppose the first order of the day should be to get some food in his belly. 
It does look terribly pale, after all. He thinks I'll go hunting for some meat. No, perhaps I should take him to a physician first. After all, he may be suffering from some ailment inscrutable to the eye. Maybe I should... Damn it all, I knew I wasn't cut out for this. All right. So, next time we do roll quests, uh, I need to go over here. Go back to the Crystarium. I don't need to use the Aetheric tickets. I'm not that far away. We'll start off with the magic stuff. My astrology in here, level 73. And talk to Yat. A hardy looking dwarf stands before you, draining a flagon of ale remarkably swiftly given the helmet. <laughs> ah, don't you know better than to sneak up on the dwarf mid flagon? I need to do this more uh, Scottish accent, right? If we could it's dwarf. Not even a proper greeting, either. Look here. Lally ho! My name is Giot. Uh, what the who? Like I said, it's a greeting. A lally ho. Get to lally ho, you hear? And speak of the witch. Witch, what's right and proper? I see they're not wearing your helm for shame. Uh, I'm not from around here. We're from the stra same strange land as the Crystal Exarch. I suppose your people are of their own customs, then. All right, I'll say no more of it. He's an odd sort, the expert is. He knows things, right? He's got some sort of mystical power. Don't suppose you're the same, are you? Because I could use someone with the power that likes of which this world has never known. Hunting sin either, you see. Well, one in particular. You can count on me. A healer and not half bad at the job, eh? I like your confidence. I'm doing I'm not doing this. Okay, I gotta think. I gotta think uh, uh Shirley Manson. Uh lead singer of garbage. Well, that's the way of it. Yes. Oh, I think I'm eating it. Can I do it? I'm not sure. Well, a little bit higher, maybe? I don't know. Female. Female. See, I think I got it. I think I'm in it. I mean, don't get me wrong. A, a female doesn't have to high, have a higher pitch voice, but... For my purposes, it would be. There we go. I think I got it. I think I'm, I'm in it. I'm in the mode. Now I just need to stick with it. And which, and I wish I could take your word for it, since you sound like you like it's just what I'm looking for. But I have to ask you to prove it. Huh? There's no need for that. Listen here. The sin eater I hunt ain't your average abomination. You can't blame me for wanting to make sure that I'm not leading you to your grave. That would be bad for bo the both of us. So, you get yourself on over to the forest, forest of the Lost Shepherd, and I'll see what we've got. You... Okay, who's the, the entrance is over here, so. Out to Lakeland. And guess what? I will fly. Uh, I'm in the air. I can fly.
And I believe I can fly. Something like that. Oh, I love this type of music. I love it when this happens. Oh, it's a ghost. Glad you found the place all right. Now for the prey. You know... Never mind. Hmm, that'll do. Now I just take a deep breath and... Hey, your mother was a hobgoblin, and you ain't much to look at, neither. Come hit her face, me, you craven shite. Though Gyo lies prone, the creature appears indisposed to cease its rampage. It seems that it must be dealt with. Hold on, I got a choke about to help me out here. And paralyzed fell off before. Ha! See, that wasn't so bad. I reckon I broke three or so of ribs or maybe wood femur there, but my bones feel just fine now. Better than before, actually. And that beast gave you no trouble, seems you're just what I'm looking for after all. Uh, what? We could talk about the rest back at the Castarium over a drink or three. The folk at the Wandering Stairs know how to keep them coming. Meet me there. Uh, so she probably doesn't speak, but this is not the dwarfs of, of like World of Warcraft or that, that we know and love. She's probably just, just speaks like a normal lullaby. <laughs> Because believe it or not, the dwarves are Lollafels. Like the like the humes are yours. It's just a different name. And for some reason they like wear they, they required they're required to wear helmets with beards on them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh. All right, I'm gonna drop the Scottish. There ain't nothing like a flag of veil after a well-earned victory. Uh, you didn't do anything. I didn't say that it was my victory, of course. I did find myself a partner of un uncommon skills, so maybe it was. Ha <laughs> ha! Whatever you want to call, call what we just did, doing it helped us understand each other, sure enough. It seemed that we were a masterful fighter, and you learned that I'm fearless as the stone. And so a fellowship is forged. Uh, if you say so. Now then, I'm sure that you, you won't get yourself killed. 
I can tell you about the Sin Eater I'm after. It's the one with the so-called cardinal virtues. Sophrosine. That's how I'm pronouncing it. Sophrosine. And it's a nasty piece of work. Each of the virtues look like one of the fools who brought the flood upon us, and this one takes after the worst of the bunch, the mitt. Or lummet. Disgrace to us, to all dwarven kind. Knowing that one of our people was a warrior of light is, is bad enough. Here's an example. Lalafell, or, or dwarves, are the Lalafells of the first. Knowing that one of our people was a warrior of light is bad enough. But Sophrosine, seen being out there, looking all dwarf-like, well, it don't help matters, accursed thing. The Council of Elders, they don't want, want to live with the shame of limit sins no more. So the head of the council, the elder, elder, most elder, stay with me here, gave me this job. Hunt down Sophrosine, slay it, see that I don't keep selling our good name. I'm our strongest warrior, so if anyone's going to do it, it, it has to be me. It's fine. I'm more than up to for a contest of might. Problem I'm having, though, is that Sophrosine keeps healing itself. And it's, well, deeply annoying. I suppose it's because Limit herself is some kind of master of the art, but Sophrosine's healing is so powerful that no matter how hard I whack it, I can't leave a scratch. To make matters worse, it also flies around, carefree as you please, resurrecting other sin eaters. And we'll be up to our eyeballs in them forever if we can't do something about these curative powers. That's where you come in, right? Um, yes? Great! With those, those skills of yours at hand, we'll find a way to put an end to this stain on my people's history once and for all. You might not have heard, but the tales say that Lamit roamed the land without her helm. She's willingly showing her face to those who, who weren't kin. She knew full well that it would dishonor her and us all, and she did it anyway. And there's the part about bringing doom to all the world. Not one of our taboos, really, but it's generally frowned upon. And now she's back, face bare to the world, a sin eater. Or what can make a dwarf go so wrong? Ah, but we have to have ale to drink and sin eaters to hunt in that order. You healed my body, sure enough, but I need a few more flagons to restore my vigor. By a few, I mean a hundred. Come, find, come and find me later. All right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, uh, who are you? You... You're looking for me? You got something to say? Uh, I thought you were doing the thing. Got you, eh? Ha! I remember my new partner. And I ain't drunk, neither. I'm a dwarf. I could take more than that. Take more than. Well, however much I've had to get me under the table. And now you know, know one more thing about me. This will only strengthen our fellowship, I'm sure. But we'll need more than just a sense of camaraderie if we're going to take down the soft scene. So I'm thinking you should start with observation. Take a look at the ceiling powers. Let you see what we're dealing with. Now, this is a perfect place to overhear hear the right sort of information if you listen. Don't get the wrong idea. I don't let it get in the way of my more important my no way of no important drinking. But I do pay attention. Anyway, I heard that Sophrosine has been spotted in Kalusha. Then I remember there's a little pub over in Stilltide, the Leaky Keel, called. And they make a decent brew. Some of the folks there should be able to point us in the right direction. I need to stay close because I'm so small. Minute too close. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Ah, uh, just what you <laughs> looking at? Yeah, fine, fine. No need to give me that murderous stare. I know what you're thinking. That girl, you think to yourself, always drinking and lounging about her and drinking some more. What a slugger. What a drinker. What a magnificent beard. Oh, I wish I had a beard like that. Oh, I wish I had a beard like that. Yes, I know. You don't need to explain yourself to me. Uh, <laughs> we really should work on finding, finding you a sense of humor. Maybe deal with that after self -receive. Might take a while. Anyway, we're here to... They're happy to hear that while I was waiting, I got my hands on some prime information. Also, some excellent wine, which, you know, information first. Right. So, according to the lo local fisher folk, quite a few a few sin eaters turn up near the Bright Cliff today, lately. I suggest we go there and kill as many as we find. Fine. We can't say for sure where soft scene will appear next, but if it's in the area, I won't pass up a chance to revive its fallen friends, right? And while we're at it, we can vent some of that pent-up rage you've got. God, don't need to be pretty. Pretty, so long as the job gets done. Just make sure to find me again before a software scene shows up. You hear? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I haven't been over here. Oh, yeah. Time for to find Yacht.
You know, I would like to like check some of the side quests the, the, with the dwarves to uh, kind of figure out why do the dwarves have this tradition of always wearing a helmet except in certain situations? Like, where did that come from? What's the history behind that? I'm like, why do you even do it in the first place? Look, you can see I'm a dwarf, or at least considered dwarf. My culture just never did the helmet thing. Why does your culture do it? You know, that sort of thing. Zoom in so I can can see see expressions. That should do it. Now we wait to see if self scene shows shows itself. Over in those bushes, say, and I've got the wine right here. There, that's it. See, I revived the other one. Hey, what's wrong? Echo vision. Oh, a lovely place to die. The world outside is even worse than I feared. Is someone there? <gasps> You're alive? Well, why didn't you say so? Can't do do much for the dead, but the living, there's a whole other matter. I can't believe it. All my wounds healed. Thank you, kind stranger. Are you sure? Lucky that I passed by. You really might have died, you know. You'll hear no argument to me. I was a fool. Oh, thought that the hobgoblin was was after. I was after. I might have friends lying in wait, and never so much as crossed my mind that I wouldn't. I shouldn't have got, been out here alone. Hmm. With your magic to keep me fighting, though, their numbers wouldn't impose much of a problem. What do you say? You you don't look to have a party of your own. Own. I'm certainly using. I can't do Ardbird's accent for some reason. I'm trying to think of it, but I can't. Oh, I'd certainly use m men like you, my side. What? I am no man, you unraping gourd. Why, I've never been so insulted in my life. Let me tell you what. Right, I'm the proud daughter of the Thole family, and if I catch you mocking me again, I'll put you right back the way I found you. Here. Uh, yes, ma'am. I certainly didn't mean to offend. The beard misled me, I, you see. And that's that. Look, Arbert, treasure. So then look the hero, and then let's see if you act like one. <laughs> In other words, they became fast friends. Hello? As it goes? Hey, you honorless, lout, half-empty, flagged, Dumpy little dollop of shite. Your mother was a hob and your face looks like a newborn's ass. 
Ars. Yeah, wait. Well, that was colorful. <laughs> Street face as always. I resented a refreshing round of insults always cheers me up. But I'm wondering to I started to wonder if you had some trouble with fun, fun as you do with with jokes. Are you sure your mother isn't a hob? Yeah. <laughs> fine, fine, never mind. At least you got what we came for, and you didn't miss much. After Sophrosine brought the other eater back to life, they both floated off to who knows where. What happened to you? I have this thing called the Echo, and it like, gave me a vision of the past. You saw Sophrosine? No, the real Lemit's past? Ha! I knew you'd have some kind of weird power. Sounds to me like you witnessed from was the beginning of Limit's journey right after she left home. It's odd. You said she was wearing her helm and she helped out that injured traveler just like any dwarf of honor would do. Maybe, maybe she wasn't born a monster. Then It don't sit right with me neither, but standing around wondering about it won't do nothing but make, make us thirsty. We're done here. Let's go back to the Crystarium. Uh, there ain't nothing like a flag and a veil after a job well done. Don't give me that look. I did stuff this time you saw. You also saw Sophrosine work its magic. Since you haven't said nothing about it, I'm guessing you didn't have no sudden revelations about how to stop it. Don't worry, I didn't expect you to solve our whole problem just like that. I only need you to remember what you saw today. Keep it in mind, and maybe something will come to you when you're working your magic elsewhere. Me? I like to, to think while I drink. It's the most efficient way. So you can find me here if you need me. I'll let you know when I have a plan. Which will be in a level when I turn to level uh, 74. Uh, let's do, do the tank one. Actually, be right back. I'm going to quickly grab something. Because my tummy, tummy is rumbling, so I need to put something in my stomach. Be right back.
All right. I miss all some goldfish. Man with too many stuck up scars. He's a dark knight and I'm a gut breaker. No, it's an edgelord. Hence, I chatted with you before. I think I remember if I had in your first show of fighting, have you? And wary besides, eh? Rest assured, I have no secret designs. James Granson. Bounty hunter by trade, mostly Sydney. Too. When I first laid eyes on you, I had a feeling that you were a tough bastard. Sort that must have been mistaken for that warrior of darkness folks have been talking about most recently. That's right. Easy killer. I couldn't care less who you are and what you've done. The only thing I'm looking for these days is a like-minded partner, someone willing to join me in the hunt for the biggest prize this side of the Nord Front. A uh, prize, you say? Exposition? Oh, we're going into the exposition. Yeah, so, so that'll grab... Yeah, I thought that'll grab your attention. The Kyocene, the fiend I'm after, when the so-called cardinal virtues, as folks want to call him. Former warriors of light, the esteemed heroes who saved the realm a century ago, dear old Brandon, Brandon, it was one of them, old. And stop me if you've heard all this before. Anyway, like his comrades, Brandon, di Brandon died in the process, only to return relatively recently as a sin eater. The better to torment we few who survived their mercy. Needless to say, I aim to put an end to all of that. You've heard the pitch, so what's the answer? You're interested in hunting the Kaioske? Dikaiosine? Dikaiosine? The Kaisin? The Kaisin? With me? Uh, dark breeding person? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? But a wit of hesitation. I'd like you, Sinner. Nevertheless, I need you to humor me and prove you are the dab hand I think you are. For my sake as well as yours. I've heard reports of strayed sin eaters who's drifting close to the Crestarium. Come with me and put my mind at ease. Uh, like Lynn. There you are. Very good. The Sydney just are after just sighted uh, west of the Ascensor bit. Accensor gate. So we'll need to head through there before we reach begin our search. Oh, and if you happen to have any objections to killing Edith's support, remember that many were once innocent people. You'll be doing them a favor, putting them out of their misery.
He's just going to be in the way. Good, clean work. Clearly not your first time. Let's do this once more just to confirm it wasn't a fluke, though. Besides, the world will do with less than needed. Follow me. Shouldn't be much further. I only do that because he is, he's a dark knight. Gotta be dark and brooding, right? Yeah, that'll do. You're exactly the sort of man I've been looking for. Take the gods for that. My apologies for su subjecting you to such a silly test, but I'd rather not have any amateur's death on my conscience. Step back to the wandering stairs and make this official, shall we? I could just go, like, way too dark and brooding, like, sort of, like, uh, Batman-ing it. Usually enough, I had this strange feeling that I'm going to level my gunbreaker after these quests. So just to make sure you're still keen on our arrangement, as ghosts, will you join with me and hunt the dread fiend Dikoski The dread fiend Dick. <laughs> Decaosine, 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 decaosine. A dread fiend, decaosine, and put an end to his accursed existence. Excellent, but it's settled. Lori did that more with passion. Maybe he's not as hard, uh, dark me. Now then, every hunt begins with an investigation, or else there's no, no exception. The keosine, <laughs> keosine. It can be a rather difficult eater to pin down, but before we commence ours, we will do, bet do well to attend to our prospective preparations. Let me know when you're ready to proceed. Oh, leveled up from that one. Oh, set to embark on a great hunt? Yeah, I just really didn't need to do anything. I was good to go. <laughs> I was waiting on you, dude. <laughs> then let us be about it. Before you ask, I have no intention of leading us into the wilds without even an inkling of Daiki's whereabouts. Dovrint may not be particularly large realm, even before the flood, but I'll take a dozen lifetimes to scour every nook and cranny. So we'll stop by asking around a place I know for a fact that the Chaos Gene has seen his attack before, the village of Wright of Kalusha. While I don't have reason to believe he will return, I'd like to think that the survivors might know something of value. After all, you can be sure that they haven't give, forgotten the day the bastard came through. So, let us be off then.
Right. Welcome to the right. I reckon it might not seem like much to you, but to me. Never mind. We'll have this conversation for after. We'll save that conversation for after. Tracking down Di Kaiosin. The Kaiosin. Is what matters right now. I split up and ask for the bastard. After the bastard. Better odds of turning up useful information that way, I wager. Uh, let's see. Um, oh. Bonded villager. Well, where did you come from? What do you want from me? Uh, I'm just asking about the chaos scene. Chaos scene? The Thor Stamped Eater that's the spitting image of gold, of a golden knight? A Daikaiosin? A Kaiosin? Uh, I can't help you. All I know is that when he came, he... Look at white. If you had seen the carnage, you would... I'm sorry, I can't talk about this. Uh, well, that wasn't very helpful. Oh, that's right. I can't fly here. Mount up so I can. Come back here. Talk to that guy. Well, what do you want from me? I'm just looking for that guy's game. The Sin Eater? The one that came and killed everyone? Oh my god, see here? And why are you talking about him? Oh, I knew I should have stayed inside. There's nothing but death out here now. Death and horror and eaters. And go <laughs> I don't know if that was much else, Granson. Well, not anything worth sharing. Wish I could say I'm surprised, but I'm not. What what we saw that day, he did to us. No <sighs> moving on from that. What exactly happened here? I was planning to tell you the whole story eventually, but I suppose now is a good time as any. I was born and raised in white. Like in any real prospects, I eked out a living as a hunter. Might have tried my hand at something more exciting, but I've not also been trying to provide for the love of my life, Belinda. It was about a year ago that she accepted a commission from this Yulmora trader. Bloke dealt mostly in antiques, and he had this bracelet in need of restoration. Bloody old, with a questionable pro providence, but supposedly it once belonged to royalty of some such. Things of Orthus, he called it. Me and her has been tra talking about... Tra Tying the proverbial knot, buying land, building a home, that sort of thing. Round here that might not take much, but still a lot more than we had. And when the trader made his offer, she didn't hesitate to say yes. I'd gone down to the shipyards to pick up extra tools and material she needed for the work. Quality stuff. And I paid for it itself. But it paid for itself ten times over. But when I got back to write...
The cow scene had been busy, spied at least a dozen newborn eaters fluttering about, trying to make sense of it, their new lot. The grandmother who lived next door and shared fruits of her orchard with the gruff woodsman who brought firewood to our doorstep in the dead of winter, both of them reduced to mindless fiends like that. It wasn't time to mourn or think. Started looking for Belinda, and there she was, live and well. Our eyes met. We knew it was going to be all right. Ran for each other, and... Even now, a year later, it doesn't feel real. One moment she was there, right there in front of me, and the next she was... The cow scenes knelt and took the fangs of Orc Orthus, then left, leading a host of sin eaters out of right. Melinda still couldn't see her as anything else. She wouldn't budge. She just hovered there and stared, waiting for me to end it. I can never say to no to her, not once in the years I had been together. For all the time she'd welcomed me home with a bowl of hot stew. All the time she laughed at my crude jokes and gave me counsel when I was losing my way. For all that and more, I killed her. I swore then, and there I'd have my vengeance. The kerosene would would die by my hand. I carved the scars of carved the scars of my flesh to mirror the ones he left on my soul, enduring reminder of the vow that I'd never dare stray path. There, well done. No need to wallow, right? When not my tragic yet trite tale to put you in off our hunt. Still with me to the end, Sinner? That's the spirit. Still, that's some unfinished business here, so if you could give me a moment before we resume, I'd be more, most grateful. So, yeah, you share with the wandering stairs, so. Sigrid is in Mordsuk. Granson is in Wright. Now we need uh, Lou Reek. Wait, you wouldn't happen to be. <laughs> yes, of course you are. Tis plain, plain for the way you carry yourself. You're just the sort of man I've been looking for. Perfect. Huh? My name is Low Reek, and I'm a bounty hunter. Not just any bounty hunter. I will have you know. Nay. I am not one to settle for run-of-the-mill prey. I hunt sin eaters. Not only that, I'm recently set my sights on a particularly notable fiend, one of the four cardinal virtues, those infamous instigators of the flood itself. Naturally, it will take considerable strength and skill to defeat such a formidable eater, and I'm not afraid to admit I cannot do it alone. However, with the aid of formidable, equally formidable allies, I'm confident it can be done. You, my friend, are exactly the sort of ally that I have a mind to recruit. I just want to see what happens when I walk away without a word. Wait! I have money. Lots and lots of money. You have well rewarded for your service. On my honor. 
However, as much as I'm certain you are the right man for the job, it's only me that I put your skills to the proof. Simple test would suffice. Right, do not be offended, but you would be shocked how many people presented them, themselves faultly, falsely in order to enrich themselves or to impress others. Hmm... Back, uh, back out to Lakeland. I got to do the tryout. Here we are, our proving ground. You need to only slay a beast of suitable ferocity before my very eyes to demonstrate your own. Naturally, we require bait to lure, lure one out of hiding. Oh, oi, my lord. Uh, got your package here. Well done, my good man, and here's your payment. Oh, this? The baiting question. Easier to have it delivered than to take a deep tour and pick it up. Pick it on myself. And the more efficient as well. I'm his bunny. Now then, you need to only place it, in, place it in the open and slay whatever comes to claim it. And I'd imagine it'll take long for something to come to it. I kind of feel like this can't go po uh, can't possibly go wrong. Let's, Oh, yeah. Fantastic! I knew it was not wrong about you. Come, let us return to Carcerium at once. Congratulations on a kill well made, my good man. I dare say this is the beginning of a beautiful partnership. Let us commence the occasion with a feast. Eat, drink, and be merry. Crunch, 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 slurp, slurp, grunt. Uh, helping? No. Are you sure? It really is no bother. Oh, very well. We should like to return our, to our earlier discussion. That is the virtue I have engaged you to hunt with me. Uh, 
Andrea is... I'm just calling her that. Andrea is her name, and she roams Norvrin in the guise of Friend of Ray, fallen warrior of light and renowned hunter of Elt. She is the most elusive eater we have sighted in every corner of the realm. Though her movements are unpredictable, she has often been witnessed pursuing and slaying extraordinary danger, extraordinarily dangerous beasts. You can well imagine the question forming in your head, why not leave her be? If anything, she's not aiding local communities after a fashion. Last note, for the beasts she slays rise anew as eaters, which pose even greater threats to the small folk. So you see, this one, this one wretched sin eater is in truth sowing untold chaos by carrying on what as she does, unleashing some of, more of her kind on uns, unsuspecting towns and villages all across Nordrend. But only you and I can stop her. So she was a warrior of light? Huh? What an odd thing to add. And never mind all that. Whether or not they were healer, heroes or villains or whatever a hundred years ago it doesn't matter to me. Simple truth is, Render Ray was the greatest hunter who ever lived. Beating her at her own game would be an amazing feat, don't you think? And regardless of what the Warriors of Light were before they became Sin Eaters, that's what they are now. So we're going, doing folks a favor by killing one. Well, what say you, friend? Will you hunt Andrea, Andrea to me, with me? Yep. Hi, Richardo. Uh, I hope I live to regret this. <laughs> so begins our formal partnership. Ah, uh, I can see it now. You and me in the heat of battle, fighting side by side. The picture of courage and camaraderie is going to be grand. Naturally, it will t take us time to study and understand our prey. Eaters can behave in strange and inexplicable ways, particularly powerful ones like Andrea. I've been doing my best to get inside her head, to think like a hunter. But it's easier said than done. Anyway, as soon as I'm determined where we ought to begin our search, I will form you at once. Oh, is the reward lacking? My apologies. Next time I'll see that you receive rather more substantial compensation. I note. <laughs> Wait, you're still here? Wait, it's you. It's you. You actually came. Um, then we have a thing. Um, uh, never mind. Um, you're here to hunt Andrea with me. Yes, of course you are. Why else would you be here? And wouldn't you know it, one of the... My hairlings should be returning with new information any moment now. Greetings, my lord. I am pleased to report that Andrea was recently sighted in Amarang, the vicinity of Samuel's backbone, it would seem. Apparently, there was a right vicious spider that was giving folks trouble, and now that it's been turned, it is a dozen times worse. They'll be grateful for any assistance. I see, I see. Well done, my friend. Your payment is promised. Why go bother going out and doing out pestering the small folk for news when you can employ others to do it for you? Better to devote your precious time to rather more important matters, I say. And owing to my winning strategy, you may not now depart for Amarang and the delightfully named Samuel's backbone. For in pursuing the spider, we may yet find its mark maker.
is certainly the place. I gather these bones were once belonged to dear Samuel, but I have no I see no troublesome arachnid. Being a of the large de desert, I considered hiring a few trackers to hasten our search, but I have yet to spy a place where such individuals might congregate. Pity. Ah, nothing for it but to roll up our proverbial sleeves and do the dirty work ourselves. We shall sp split up and search the sands of this, this sin-eater spider. Whoever finds it first may have the honor of slaying it themselves. And should we not find it, well, after we both have searched for a suitable length of time, I say we meet back here. The hunt begin. We survey the surrounding sands, but find no trace of the spider you see. Well, and it ends up being I took care of this in here. There she is, the scourge of Norvrent, the devourer of souls, Balam Keats. We bring this mock down, we'll be singing ballads about us till the end of time. Never think, never mind the king's bounty. 
ourselves. We could buy ourselves a couple of castles apiece. Thank you, maneuver as discussed. Wait for my signal. Then we'll strike us one. Damn it, she's on to us. Don't panic. We plan for this. Act as decoys will render. Ray brings her down. Go, go. Wait, not yet. There's no need to rush us. Saw it. Oh, wait, so headstrong. Look at me, my head. I can't. Oh, no, come back here. Finish it, you bloody bastard. Finish me. So sorry. All my fault. I will n I'll not let it end like this. I promise. Killed that god's damn beast. That's the last thing I... Hey, what was that just now? I had headaches before, but the way you were thrashing about wasn't like anything I've ever felt. Yeah, I saw a vision of... Uh, uh, Render is past. Exposition. <laughs> By the gods, I thought you were lucky just to catch a glimpse of Andrea. Andrea. That you're always also telling me you're granted a vision or a past with the powers with this power of yours? So, hmm. Two warriors killed while hunting a great horned beast. He sets fight their surviving companions vowed to slay in revenge. I've heard this tale before. I know it. Bah. It's a common enough sort of tale, I suppose. And regardless, she is gone. Come, let us return to the Crystarium and celebrate our accomplishment. Table is set, so I bid you raise a glass with me that together we might toast our spectacular accomplishment. What are really doing? Crunch, crunch, slurp. There's really not quite like a hearty meal after a job well done. Drink up, my friend. Drink up. Look. I had your fill. There's another few bottles ready, and we need to be open. No? Oh, well. Very well, if you insist. It occurs to me, my good man, that I have yet to ask you your name. So quickly did we forge our friendship that I hardly noticed until now. Uh, <laughs> that's a dick. Eskos went small. Reek and Eskos. Yes. I'd rather like the sound of it. Reek and Eskos, the daring duo, the brave bounty hunters, the scourge of sin eaters. Once we have slain Andrea, not a soul in Norvent will not... No more names. They shall ring out all across the realm. 
Uh, but I'm I should dwell but I should dwell over much on the victory before the struggle. A wise hunter is prepared and patient. It would be prudent to send to send double, nay triple the agent's field to seek out pro promising new leads. Sure, it's wise to spend your money so freely. Worried about the budget of our brave endeavor? Well, don't be. I'm prepared to fund our activities as needed. No expense shall be spared. None whatsoever. Yeah. All right. Because I'm level 75, I have another quest, but I'm going to try to keep... At least the roll quests all in sync. But I forgot to mention this, but uh, there is a reason why I'm calling this, this episode Lahi Lahi. I can't do it. I can't do it. We'll see what I mean. Good evening to you, sir. I do hope you are well rested. The ex and your companions are presently gathered in the ocular. He asks that you convene with them at your earliest convenience. I'm guessing voice acting. Ah, oh, there you are. You're just in time to welcome our guest. Please, did I not explicitly tell you that we would be meeting again soon? Lest you forget, I made you a promise. I have no intention of meddling with your mission. I come only to observe. Your exarch friend in particular has piqued my curiosity. Summoning you all like that. Most impressive. You honestly expect us to believe you've come only to observe? Or that you might deign to lift a finger to aid our cause if called upon? Even if there were a sliver of truth in your words, I would never accept your help. Not in my darkest hour. Not after all the suffering your kind has wrought. So petty. I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. Wage your war against the Sin Eaters, put each and every Light Warden to the sword, prove yourselves heroes, brave and true, and I will be glad to embrace you as allies. Allies worthy of bearing the burden of truth. Surely such a partnership would be preferable to yet another round of fisticuffs. A 
And thus did the olive branch wither and die. Pity. Well, let no man say I did not try, futile as it was. Though I suspect you will seek me out when you grow tired of making the same mistakes. Difficult decisions lie ahead of you. Decisions best made with the benefit of knowledge to which only the Eternal are privy. For now, I shall resume my shadowy vigil. Whatever you choose to do, make sure it's worth watching, would you? What was that all about? A vain attempt to make us doubt our chosen course, most like. As if we'd believe a word that passed his lips. Unless you think there is some truth in what he says. I know. Weaver Cross is us, I'm making wish he hadn't. I'm sure you will. But consider for a moment. If he meant simply to lead us astray, he could have done so without revealing himself. At least, not in the manner he did. It goes without saying that an alliance with the Asians is out of the question. But since we have no way of knowing where they might be hiding, it seems only logical to press on with our mission, even if our enemy seems content for it to succeed. Then, let us discuss the Sin Eaters. I would begin by thanking you all for your efforts thus far. In striking down the Light Wardens of Lakeland and Ilmeg, you have accomplished more in your short time here than all of our forces managed in the last century. That may be, but the Wardens of Calusia, Armareng, and Raktika remain. Indeed, and their precise whereabouts are as yet unknown. Which is why I propose we divide our forces and conduct a systematic survey of each region. Once we have found our quarry, we may then determine how best to proceed. I'll take our meringue in that case. I know the lie of the land well enough. If there are no objections, I will make for Calusia. I have connections there both in and around Yulmore that may prove useful. Then I would ask that you journey to Raktika. There you will find Yustola. With her assistance, I doubt the Warden will evade your grasp for long. Is Yustola the conjurer you and Uriange used to talk about? That's right. Though we haven't spoken much since she left for the forest. I fear I may be to blame for that. I had every intention of relaying the news of your arrival, but she is... disinclined to speak with me. You have visited her, have you not? Might I trouble you to... It would be no trouble. My thanks. While you are all out in the field, I shall be here attending to business. I had somewhat fancifully contemplated joining the search myself, but other matters demand my attention. What's that? A missive from Lord Vorthry. He invites me to join him in Yulmore to discuss the recent conflict at Leda Loran. And? Did he even bother to offer any bait? It's obviously a trap. I should be surprised if it were not. Nevertheless, I must seize this opportunity to speak with him, even if only a few words are exchanged. Though my power will be much diminished so far from the tower, it is a risk I am willing to take. Master Alphano, 
Might I impose upon you to accompany me to Yulmor prior to beginning your reconnaissance? Of course. Then let us make ready. Safe travels to you all. Before you leave, I would make a request of you. <clears throat> there is a church, or rather the ruins of a church, at Fort Job. Might I ask that you go there before seeking out your starter? It was a place where people once gathered to worship the light. Lass has long since fallen into disuse. Yet within the hall, there remains a tablet whose writings I believe may prove of use to your At the very least, such a relic would make a suitable gift for your reunion. Most considerable proposal. Very well. Ere we depart to Ratika, we shall journey onto Fortune, that we might secure this relic. Good for job. I will also be right back because I need to refresh my beverage. And I'll turn down the volume. And back. Here amidst these ruins, we will find the Church of the First Light. Within that hallowed hall, the tablet we seek. Time is of the essence, my friend. Let us be quick. With the height of Lakeland's prosperity, these sites served not as man's final bastion, but a testament of its ingenuity and architectural prowess. The Church of the First Light was responsible for m many such marvels, building majestic chapels in every corner of the realm. Alas, the flood, with its ex 